How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Jake. You're watching Dude Ranch DIY. If you were watching the last video, you probably saw me use this awesome uh, toe behind kind of like spider lift, aerial lift at a job pruning a massive pine hedge. Um, well, we got the thing for the weekend. The rental was like basically three days. So uh, today we got a beautiful Sunday out and uh, I'm going to be using the thing around my house to get some tree work done that I've kind of been holding off on. Um, so as you can see, I got it set up over there on the back of the truck, got the international truck warming up over here, and I got the Kubota tractor with the Wicked Grapple and the Wood Max Chipper all staged up over there, ready for the brush, and uh, we're going to be doing some tree work today around the Dude Ranch. Stay tuned. So if you didn't see the last video, this is the lift that I have. Um, I rented it from Superior Rental, as you can see. It's a haul lot. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Haul lot. Uh, 4527A. The thing has 45 feet of boom and a working height of around 50 feet, you know, once it's fully deployed and the outriggers and everything. As you can see, the, the wheels are totally off the ground. It has an awesome auto level feature that makes it super easy to level itself and uh, deploy the outriggers. So I'm going to hop up in the basket and the first culprit that we're going to take down is this leaning maple tree right here. It's kind of close to the power lines, leans over the driveway, was at one point covered with poison ivy. Um, it's just kind of unnecessary. So we're gonna be taking this bad boy down. Okay, so we got those three down. Uh, took down these two smaller ones as well, just because they're kind of in the way and not really doing much. They're underneath this other larger maple. Uh, so we got a mess here. Just pulled the lift out of the way. Gonna back the truck up. I already got some chips in there. Chip into the truck with the wood max. Let's get this cleaned up. guys that's a wrap on these got them all piled up over here flush cut all the stumps and uh, we are cleaned up in this section I think it opens it up a little bit they're uh, not encroaching on the lines as much so that's good first set of trees done the next culprit is this big oak here now I'm obviously not gonna be taking this down by myself but this lower branch right here that uh, you know sticks out over the driveway is kind of an eyesore in my opinion and it's covered in vines that I cut when we first moved in like a year ago. And this other big branch over here that comes out over the barn roof um, definitely gives it a bunch of shade and I don't know if you can tell or see, but I have some mold and like mildew on the back side of the, the barn roof there. I actually just cleaned off all the mold and moss and everything that was on the other side, the far side. Um, that's where it was really bad. But I think if I, 
I don't know if I can quite reach the whole thing, um, but if I'm able to even just thin it out a bit and, and reduce some weight back off uh, the tip of it, you know, that would, that would help. That way it wouldn't come crashing down on the barn, God forbid, and we could get some more sunlight there. So I'm going to bring the lift somewhere in this area here and uh, get set up for this bad boy. came down from the lift. Let me show you how that oak tree looks. I think it came out pretty good. So here we have the oak tree. No more big dead branch. Well, partially dead branch at least, hanging over the barn. Um, it's gonna get a lot more sun. I also, while I was up there, removed a ton of vines. I just have a little bit more to do uh, pulling off by hand here at the bottom. Um, but I'm glad I cut all those vines last year because they came off super easy. They were just kind of like peeling off. Um, you know, the, this tree really does need to be climbed fully to uh, go through and do a big deadwood prune. There's some big stuff up there that I couldn't really reach with this uh, lift, but this lift has been working awesome. I'm so happy that I have this thing. Um, it's almost like something that you could probably rent like once or twice a year just to have around the property and, uh, you know, do some stuff with. So after I get all this stuff cleaned up, I'm probably going to tackle this oak as well. You can see uh, there's some big dead bones in it that are hanging out over the, uh, the wood yard road here. Um, I'm not going to be able to reach all of them, but it'll uh, just make it look a little bit nicer. Clean it up a bit. <music> to do it. Um, I didn't film doing this last tree because the camera ran out of power, but um, I pruned up this oak, got all the dead bones out of it, chipped it all up right here. Now the only thing left I got to do is move these firewood poles back into the wood yard, which I'm going to do momentarily. But um, these trees look a lot neater, a lot cleaner, getting all the vines and crap out of there. 
and uh, it was nice being able to get down these three little guys it opens it up more uh, sun down to the driveway and everything and uh, to the grass of course so I can't say enough good things about that uh, that lift that I rented um, I'm gonna be doing some research like I said in the other video and uh, see what one of these things goes for because honestly I have no idea what they would cost um, but it is super useful for a guy like me um, so that's gonna about wrap up this video so as always guys thanks for watching I really appreciate it hope you enjoyed um, if you like the video give it a big old thumbs up haven't done so already click that subscribe button down below um, and any questions comments or feedback on what I did here today or uh, on this awesome lift throw it down in the comment section but for now I'm really tired but I'm Jake this is Dude Ranch DIY we'll see you next time